Good morning, everyone. It's that time. Beats for breakfast. Let's get rolling and see what happens today. Just going to pick a sound at random. That's just a vibe right there.
What's been nice so far is that each of these sounds is actually just an evolution of that very first patch. Um, I'm going to write that down as an idea actually for a tune starter. So, like each musical sound becomes the like the, the very first patch that you open. You have to build all musical parts for the tune from that from that patch or variations of it. That's quite cool. So I'm gonna write that down. Oh. So here's the idea for this tune. All variations of, uh, so all musical parts for this tune need to, to be built from modifications or variations to one patch, to one uh, synth patch. And in this case, it's the Synth Master Vibrant Depth Lead. That's the one that I just chose. I just picked any kind of one that I like the sound of, and then I'm just making variations of that. But it's a cool way to keep yourself, I don't know, developing that idea, basically. 
So I've got a little, couple of little musical parts there, which is nice. I'm just going to bounce the pad. What was really nice, and I forgot about this, is the randomize function in a couple of simps that, that are out there that you can use. I wonder if this does have a randomize function. Um, like, it'd just be cool to randomize every parameter, but I'm not sure you can. Space is crazy now. Something's definitely happening when it goes low. Maybe it's to do with mod one. Whenever I go really low, it's like, is there an EQ on it? Like if I go effects. Browser. Maybe it's in like an EQ. No, there's no low EQ cutting that off. Low fire, ensemble. I was hoping to make a bass out of it, you know. But when I play these low notes, if I play an octave down, like no extra bass comes in, like no real sub. I'm gonna have to make the bass from a different thing, then, I guess. Let's try a new patch, initial preset. Oh, it's the CQ, that's why. What a wally. There you go, let me try it again. Oh, what a wally. I was like, there should be way more bass coming out. Of course not with these EQs down here. <laughs> but we'll still use a little one just to roll off that sub.
Flush. That's velocity. I want to add a little bit of EQ just to fix up some of that stereo on the sides. do maybe a bit of compression on the sides as well just to keep it under control I think I'll use it that much, but it's definitely a nice little element to use. Let's see what we've got here for. Um After all with the compressors. Yeah, that's smoother. a bit too much release I think like it should be much tighter the and maybe the decay where's all that extra sub coming from maybe that's envelope one yeah that'll be it Now I can filter envelope two. Yeah, cool. I know it's only a simple little sub, but I like it. or down to just one note at this point and then that could come in I'll have to rebalance this as well uh, so mute you and mute you Thank you. 
No, it'd be better with the full pad. I don't know, the, the change maybe works, but maybe it's because it's not the whole synth part. Maybe that would be better. So if I join you two. And yeah, the and with the tail it might it might feel a little bit more of a smoother transition. But that was quite nice where it all dropped out. And then I'll have this one rising rather than just like start. And I think that could go somewhere, like a little. And I like bringing in that little pattern at that point. It's, I think it's got something. We'll see. Apart from that pattern, that's quite a cool little switch. It's a little bit too like obvious, but in a good way as well. That was better before, actually. another bounce out of this and see what we can do it's not right
Yeah, it's starting to be a little idea. It's not perfect or anything, but um, it's pretty exciting. Like, you know, just that one, uh, all the musical sounds are coming out of one uh, patch. It's quite a different idea. I've not done that before. So, yeah, I'm excited for that. going to use a kick that I, n I know works today because yeah gonna just bring that in and have a little listen to what key that's in Oh yeah, I remember this kick. G. That kind of D, between D and D sharp, and A. How's that gonna sit? G, D sharp, and A. Might be all right. Because the, the G bit of it, yeah, it might be all right. I might just cut out the little hi-hat today. Maybe not, it's part of it. And then for my snare. I'm going to go into that folder that I haven't used for a while. Drum hits. Um, sample pack drums. Find some nice snares. Cool Chiba Greedy Beats hits. Stoneyard snares. See what this has got to say. Yeah, see if that works. Dub yard. That's quite nice for the attack. And then I'm going to go for some hats. See what on that open hat and try and build a little snare out of these layers see what happens there so we've got the big kind of body knock thing at the beginning which is quite nice That's hopefully going to give me like the body to my snare and then I'll do some other stuff like with, with those other two to try and build up a, a kind of a full snare layer. 
Hopefully, we'll see. That's not the one I want. I want uh, low frequency. So that's actually tuned to E. But for this tune, it would have to be E flat. So I'm just going to sample that and tune that correctly. So, control E. I'm just going to turn that down a bit. And that'll be E flat. And obviously at the moment this um this little snare sounds a little bit static and weird on its own uh, without the other layers but hopefully when layered up it'll be all kind of nice and sort of trying to get these to be somewhat consistent in their shape you can see that it's got this they've both got this kind of contour that's somewhat similar so yeah going to try and develop that a little bit more um yeah <laughs> But at the moment, this is only supposed to be the body, you know, of the snare drum rather than anything else. Yeah, try and tighten that up and then see where this one's hitting musically, or frequency-wise, pitch-wise. Uh, yeah, we'll just tune that. A little bit of B. A little bit of F-sharp. So it could definitely come down one semitone. Um, and it would be good for the key yeah always doing this just you know to um uh to get the drums kind of in tune but i'm wondering if that will now fit with the other hit you know musically yeah it sounds like it's in the same ballpark so that'd be nice Uh, there we go. So that's my tuned version of that little rim shot snare. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Maybe I want that a bit further along there. It's all right. Might have to tune this hat, you know. Because it's got a definite kind of body, like, note to it, where I didn't expect it to, so I'll just check that out. 
Yeah, I'm not sure I'm feeling these drums, but it's nice to give them a little try. Yeah, D sharp. So that could go down a semitone. And like, hopefully the body will sit musically with the rest of the stuff now. I'm really thankful for how kind of sort of smooth that little sampler is when you just load it up, bang, sample back in. <laughs> And maybe I'll pick a bit of the snare that's not as focused on the the body of the hit. And less of that. This body one sounds really like it's just some... It just sounds too chunky. And it should maybe match the contour of that one a little bit more. Mm. It's all right, it's not a great snare though. Yeah, see this one's, this one should be all attack and nothing more. Maybe that one should be a bit shorter like that. So it's just body. And then the top. But maybe that's still got too much body in it. I don't know. Now, could I do without the tiny bit of attack here, maybe, and just have that? That dub attack. Yeah, it's an, it's an all right little snare layer. I don't really like it that much as a snare, but it's all right, I guess. <laughs> I think it's just because, you know, these two are completely disparate. There's nothing tying them together. So maybe the final thing can just be a little break beat just to give them some sense of, um, cause they're two nice hits, but they're two completely random unrelated hits that don't make any sense together. So maybe a little break beat. I know that beat's weird, but it's got a character to it that I like. I'm going to take everything out of it anyway, so it's not going to be like that, like this drum loop. I'm going to remove all the low, but just to get some of the, the groove out of it, is what I'm looking for. <laughs>
What don't I like about this snare? The answer is everything. So what am I going to do? I'm going to try and get its shape a little bit better first of all. Right, that's a little bit nicer now. Just kind of got the the attacky shape rather than it all being chunky the whole time. And I can sort of parallel process those. So maybe I'll turn you down by uh, 12 dB and the two of those. Yeah, it seems to work a little bit better. Then I don't really like that big tail at the end. So I want it to sort of filter up after the hit. So where's my filter freak? Yeah, because it seems too linear. Like I want it to go push, like and filter up. Um, at the end of the hit. I think I've made a pre preset for that snare clean. So it has the body, but then within a couple of milliseconds, it's kind of fading out the, the body as well. That's just so that instead of the, the low end feeling like it's just like, ooh, it feels like it's ooh, like, I don't See what type of saturation we've got here. Yeah, I feel like that's a bit less linear, and like the because the filter comes up now, you can see that. Oh, yeah, that's a nicer shape. You can see it kind of hits, and then the body comes up rather than it being just. And then simply, I think I just want it to be shorter as well. So there's less of that high end. In fact, I don't think I like the open hat that I used. So I'm just going to take that off. So that's going to be one layer, then I'm going to have to re-layer that now. But at least we've got that nice punchy body. And I don't want you. Because you're distracting from what the snare should be. I'm just using this for like a little groove template, you know, and uh, getting rid of these snares. Mm -hmm. 
now I can actually find a nice snare to layer up on top of those other snares and hopefully get something nice rolling. Or I might just call it a day because, you know, sometimes you get on the drums and you're like, oh, I'm not feeling these, but such is life. It's no problem. Um... Drums, samples, sample packs. What do I need? I need uh, a good pack of drums. These are too neuro-y, like they're all like really fat. I want something that's like more like noisy and higher and bright. That's got quite a nice high end, actually. Yeah, I'm not feeling these drums at all. Back to the drawing board on those, because they are not working at all. I think that's sometimes the thing, just... Yeah, just not being afraid to go back to the drawing board and the drums and say, yeah, they sucked. Let's, let's do better drums next time, you know. Um, maybe it just needs something a little bit different. I don't know what I could imagine hearing over it, but I want to spend a couple more minutes trying to find whatever idea this should be, just to get a, a draft down. Even if I don't use it, you know, it's good to like get the drums in a sort of a framework. Some breaks from 2017. They don't sound very well uh, processed. Rhythm Lab breaks, let's see what you are. I think these are old school breaks, so maybe that might work. I think I used that really recently, so Sounds cool. That might work. So. Maybe I could have two breaks out of that. Oh, it goes weird. Okay. Like, oh, would they just bring in some sort of weird thing I'm not looking for, really? The only bad thing about this break is how mad stereo it is. So, control B, don't include the tail. Because it's just got a really, really big stereo image. 
So the first thing I might do is just process up the stereo a tiny bit just to get it a little bit more mono. So I can control it a, a tiny bit better. in G which is good so a little bit more mono let's go We're getting there to a little bit more of a nice mono break. Try not to destroy it, you know. That's nice. That's all right. We'll see if that can work as a, uh, a break beat in the track. It's a little bit crazy, but we'll see. So. One, Sounds a bit crazy when it's sped up like that. It's just too much, isn't it? The only thing I can think is maybe to take just the left hand side, uh, which hasn't got as much of the ride, but. I still think I'm going to have to long these drums off, to be honest. That sounds so messy. No, drums not working today. Anyway, well, I'll tell you what was nice about working with this idea, even though I just did not get the drums right today. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put any loop in any DMB loop, just so that I can listen to it back and decide whether I like it later. Um, yeah, but what I did like from today was just 
making every sound from one patch. I thought that was quite a cool way to do something that I've never done before, you know. So I'm pretty happy with that. See if that works. Nah, still not the right vibe. See if that works. Nah, it's not a vibe. doesn't really work I I've got no idea what type of drum should be with this let me look up let me look at my samples and just type in glitch <laughs> I can imagine those. Here we go, here's some glitchy loops. Okay. Actually, that's closer to what I wanted, weirdly rather than those other drums, which weren't even close. Oh, 
that's sick. I'm going to add that anyway. Just there. <laughs> that's very cool. That's a really nice hat as well. This glitch search has got some lovely bits. Ah. Oh. Yep. Yeah, there's a vibe. Whatever, whatever this glitch baby is, I'm well impressed. I've got to find out what this is from. Glitch baby. I've got no idea what that is. But the samples from it are incredible. I'm going to write that down. Glitch baby. There we go, got a little bit now that can work. That kick's a bit weird, but you know, what are you going to do? Yeah, well, there's an idea at least. I didn't think it was going to turn into a full idea with drums, bass and musical parts, but we got there in the end eventually. So, yeah, that's it for today. Beats for breakfast. Um, if you've watched this far, thank you so much for watching uh, the live stream and that. And, um, yeah, I hope you, like, learned something from the from it. I, I, I know that the thing that I got from today was the fact that Sometimes it's cool to write all the musical parts from one patch. That's definitely the thing I'm going to take from today. And don't be afraid if the drums just don't work, just to delete them. Because you might find a cool little idea, you know, being aware. And I spent quite a lot of time on that snare, just getting it all right and listen to it. And I was like, this just isn't right. So, yeah, I'm happy to, like, kind of learn that today. Anyway, um, until next time, that's that's the beat. So... Yeah, nice one everyone. Beats for breakfast. <laughs>